you saints Jesus sanctified himself so that we also may be sanctified through the truth what does it mean to see an angel literally standing in the sun think about that what does it mean to see an angel standing literally in the sun. Now that just walks the mind of those who have the sun under 24 hour surveillance. And for those who are sun worshippers, and for those who have all the facts about the sun, the neighboring sun, not the suns that are far away, but just the 93 million mile uh, solar sun. To see an angel standing in that sun, 11 million degrees temperature, and to literally see and understand that kind of, of knowledge, literally. And when you begin to understand uh, the Bible literally, some people don't understand that. They can't receive that. They cannot accept that. But that's your problem. It's not the Bible's problem. God don't have problems. God don't know what a problem is. He said, you set up things, I'll run through them. I'll go through them. God is solutionist. He gives solutions. He's the creator of the ends of the earth, the scripture has said. The unfruitful works and the unprofitable servant both belong in outer darkness. See that? The unfruitful works and the unprofitable servant both belong in outer darkness. That's what scripture says. Now we need to understand these things about the Lord that he showed us to understand. Our invisible sense of invisible knowledge is made manifest through Christ Jesus. Think about that. Our invisible sense of invisible knowledge is made manifest through Christ Jesus. You'll understand that from John 1 14. You get a good, clear understanding with that kind <clears throat> of knowledge. There are two things that make rich, the Bible said. There are two ways I know you, oh, oh, oh my, I just see your ears out there puckling up now. Oh, go ahead, preacher. I see your antenna going up now because I use the word rich. 
Say there are two things out there that uh, the Bible said that maketh rich. And both of them are found in the same chapter. Two things that maketh rich. Uh, I suppose you want to know what they are, don't you? I hear the heart beating out there across the globe that watch this. I see the mind racing out there. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. The pulsating out there across the globe. You want to know those two things the Bible said uh, that maketh rich. I'll give you the scriptures. You go search them out for yourself. First one is Proverbs 10 and 4 and Proverbs 10 and 22. Now go search them out for yourself. Now, made that statement because of where we're giving it to go. We're giving it to go back over into where we were in the 18th chapter of the Gospel of Luke. And we were in the 18th verse and we came down where in a certain ruler asked Jesus saying, Good Master, now mind you in Luke 10 and 25, it was a lawyer that asked exactly the same question. The same question. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? The same question that this uh, Certain ruler asked Jesus, the lawyer asked him uh, in 10.25, exact words. Well, I call it the me good. Went on down the line. But the young man said, all these have I kept from my youth up. Well, in 10.26, the young man, the young lawyer asked Jesus about the law. Yeah, you want to know about the commandments. See, in the former case, it was about the law. Here, it's about the commandments. All right? Yet lackest thou one thing. Now, I want to make one thing clear. Coming down to the end of verse 22, Jesus said, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Do all this and follow me. Why? I'm on my way into eternal life. Follow me. All right? Follow me. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. They're the light of life, they're the light of the world, they're the light of men. Keep that in mind. Three of them. The light of life, the light of the world, the light of men. He's all of it. Shall have the light of life. And, uh, when he heard this, he was very sorrowful. Notice this. He was very sorrowful, and he was very rich. You notice that? He was very sorrowful, the scripture says, and he was very rich. Keep that in mind, because uh, 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 when you look at First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 this is what you're going uh, to read yeah. and uh, I will come back to this point next time God bless you global Christian friends pastors, saints, churches, and American government and servicemen